I went out on another supply run. A few interesting things did happen, and Francis and Tobias talked in the middle of it too. Let me just show you the highlights first. Hey driver, sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Th th there's no question, Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Yeah, I think she probably has a lot of trauma and guilt associated with all that crap. Maybe that's something that we should help her with then, because she can't just be in here by herself the whole time, right? I think she's still the smartest person in the room though, it just depends on how she applies it. Does she want to do anything with it? Does she want to help save me? I would hope so. Speaking of Oppie, you're not gonna like this, Francis. But I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it, it's not that I doubt our abilities. But no one knows the zone like that old bat. But you heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well... She'll come around to our jobs. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind, to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. All your work in Lim R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life, you sacrificed it all for Anna, and how did they thank you? With a black hole in your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for 10 years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder, how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends? Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go, I think one of the logs did say that Francis looked up to Oppie a lot before. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was kind of fun. <laughs> what the hell? Was Wait, you made me drop the thing though. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, that's a that's enough excitement for one day. Yikes. I don't think we got fall damage for that though, surprisingly. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's all good. Okay. All right. All right. We have time. I think we even have time for that stability core. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right next to the gateway. Casually stroll out in the middle of radiation. I have the radiation, the lead coat or whatever it was. So things should be a little bit better! We're good. We're good. Whoa! So chill. So chill. 
I might even go for the plasma tower, but you know what? Nah, I'll call it a wrap here. Done. Done, done, done. If Francis and Tobias about Oppie, I'm not quite sure what to make of her because we've never met any of these people face to face. All we have to go off is these audio recordings. Oppie seems quite callous. Yeah, apparently her taking an interest in the remnants is something new. For the longest of times, which would be something like, I guess maybe the past decade or so, she's just been living here and not really caring about what happened, I guess, until I came. So I'm not sure what's going on that front. Maybe it is related to her husband in some way. Could be. Because of the car, the car being a remnant. What does that really mean? Remnant of what? Remnant of someone existing? Is her husband... Is her husband's spirit in my car or something? I guess that's possible. We don't really know. I picked up a few logs. Didn't check it out yet. Let's check it out together. I'm trapped out here now. I tried going backwards, back the way I came, but parts of me seem stuck, like I can't rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
and I didn't really get a chance to read this yet. Crackling Crawler. Hey Jill, so we've been through the latest batch of tests and almost everything is negative. You're right that this thing does respond to ground vibration and clearly senses nearby movement, but beyond that, there is no reaction to any other kind of stimulus. Not light, not sound, not radiation, not any kind of changes in atmosphere, humidity, nothing. The best I can suggest right now is that its behavior is kind of territorial, often attacking anything it senses is close. Wait, not that I'm saying this thing is displaying intelligence, it's just some kind of chemical reaction. We're still saying that they aren't intelligent, right? And uh, anyone even begin to figure out what these things might be made of yet? We keep telling that to ourselves, they're not intelligent, they're not intelligent. I hope so. Oh, I don't like these guys, bubblegum buddy. Telephone. Hi there, Dr. Cook? This is Tobias Barlow, from Maintenance. Ah, I think I know why your field equipment is missing, and uh, you're not gonna like this. So me and a bunch of the folks doing requisition and inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again later, in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to high winds, and some to, you know, scrambling. But the weather has been pretty normal, and then we realized the zone hadn't had a tantrum in a while. So we did kind of a stakeout, and we left some old gear at a test site, and... You won't believe it. These things are like gooey fireflies, or will-o'-the-wisps, or something. They come out of the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like magpies and then pass it around like uh, a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists want to know about this stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There's, uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things, like in an experiment. I figured you might want to see, so mind if I drop this stuff by? Those pneumatubes are malfunctioning again. The Myers is only the beginning of where we can find them. I wish the pictures were a little bit better, but maybe that's a me problem. The the actual object tends to be in the corner, as opposed to... Yeah, for all of them, they're like that. I don't know why. Does it register the, the center of my screen as being the corner somehow? So these guys, I... They tried to drag me away from escaping. I don't like that. I think we need to solve this problem. I did get some stable energy in my resource run. Can we get some... Oh, we already unlocked the limb pulse. Actually, I'm gonna go make it right now. The limb pulse emitter, I think, is supposed to defend against these things, right? I got enough copper wire. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold onto or harm the vehicle. Really good. So no dust bunnies, no bubblegum buddies, none of that crap. Thank you. How does this work? Do I- is it a mount on the side kind of thing? Well, how, how does this work? Uh-oh. Bought it. Don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Maybe it's like a roof thing. I... I think they need to let me know. <laughs> they, they really... Like, uh, a lot of this stuff we've just been sort of feeling out, but it would be nice to have a little bit more direction on what on earth we're doing. By the way, the car looks like this now. The matter generator has been helping with keeping up with repairs, although some parts are still not the greatest. I was thinking of testing out the blowtorch. I can make repair putty. I have like 20 chemicals right now, but I don't want to waste the chemicals. So I wanted to try out the um, blowtorch instead. Oh, I can't even carry this. Okay, let me let me just put this in the trunk or something for a second. Maybe we need to have this on the roof. Mm, I'll unlock an attachment later. So the blowtorch. I haven't unlocked that formula yet. I don't think I can because we need unstable energy. So once we finish using this, it'll be gone. But it's probably important to test this out. Oh, that's fantastic. Check that out. Yeah. Mm, I'm aware of the the durability going down though. Does it work on wheels? Yes, it does. That's good. One of my wheels had a flat. I don't think the matter regenerator works on flats, so I had to fix that with a ceiling kit. Oh, this one. Oh, I think the blowtorch is gonna be gone. Okay, we sort of got a sampling of how it works. One blowtorch probably wouldn't last us super mega long. My headlights... Headlights are not my my biggest thing right now, so I'm not, like, mega worried about it. Car is 91% repaired. Could be worse. Could be worse. 
Now let's see if I can... I think advanced workbench is one we need, but we can't because number one copper wire. I can collect more, but unstable energy. It needs three. Three whole units. So that's probably something to prioritize. Ooh, I don't have any copper wires for this one. Ugh. What did I want to make? Expanded locker. Insulated bumper. Roof rack, maybe? I'm hoping that Limpulse thing is a, a roof rack thing. Please let it be a roof. I think they could put a few- okay, alright, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Is that not how this works? Well, I can put stuff there, but what- what can I actually put there is, uh... Remains a mystery. Oh, okay. It's- it's a bumper attachment. I had to look this up on the Steam forums. <laughs> I wish there was, the direction- yeah, I just wish it was a little bit clearer. That's good. That means my- I think this bumper was kind of broken down too. Fantastic. I'll just- I don't think I have room in the- yeah, everything's kind of full already. But I'll just save it up for another time. If I still have room. No, I don't have room here either. Okay, I'll put it in the trunk. Probably have room in the trunk. And then I think, before I forget... So there's Limpulse Emitter. I need to activate this. As a thing. Ooh. What even is that? Is this just a random little entertainment thing? I think I'll have it on F if you don't... Yeah, F. F would be good. Oh, I've got multiple that have been sitting here for a while. Limpulse emitter. Two battery per activation. Handbrake costs some battery too. Arc dock. Okay, put this here and then for space. Space can be the arc dock. Limb enhanced first aid attention on the go. For free? For free? How many times? Oh, it costs four battery. Whoa, okay, so these abilities are nice, but it does mean that we need to keep an eye on our battery then. Which is right next to the- it's the meter that we're looking at right now. What is it at? Like... 50-ish? I don't know. How do we increase it? The, the core capacity of the battery that we're using right now. Probably some kind of an upgrade, I'm guessing. Mm, I also want this improved- oh shoot! I made something using plasma, now I can't make this improved antenna. So that's why I keep going out for supply trips, because I just need a little bit of supply sometimes, you know? Bio headlight. Everything needs advanced workbench. We're just sort of stuck here for now. Flare gun? I don't really need it, but if you- if I need this for something else, then... Sure, I guess we can... These, some of these lanterns, durability, 22k, that's crazy. It does say some of the blue, blueprint materials, what you need to make it, but I don't think that's really helpful. For now, for now. I can make- no, I can't. I need advanced workbench yet again. So what else can I do here? Lightning rod. It could be good. If there's lightning. And then we, we get some energy from it, <laughs> especially since we were just talking about how all the abilities need so much energy. Oh, we need to make it. Oh, copper wire. Okay, alright, fine. I still got 2.6 energy here. Insul- seat- another seat rack? What do we install onto it? I don't know yet. Side fuel tank for longer journey- oh, oh, batteries! Batteries! Side battery. That- two. We need two for that. Hydro generator plasma. Plasma needs unstable. Hydro generator. Raindrops. Turn into electricity. That is also really good. We- Ah, oh, we're- We're just short by 0 0.1 energy. We can't bu get both right now. Mini turbine. I think I'll just get the- the battery. For now. This is nice, but it's more of a gradual thing. Whereas this one immediately gives me a big boost.
Oh, I, I have to craft everything myself around here, don't I? Of course everything needs copper wires, of course. Be that way then, be that way. Should I add an additional storage just because I can? I mean, why not, right? Yeah. I designated this one as the extra stuff. Oh, we should probably repair these. These are like, if they break, it's over. <laughs> It's over. But the difference between the repair putty and the blowtorch is that the blowtorch, you can stop whenever you want. The repair putty, once you slap a bunch on, it just heals that much, right? And right now, it's only a little bit injured. So I don't think I should use it right now. But yeah, this is my extra random panel stuff. The crude panel is probably not even that great. But I have one here, I guess. Or something like that. Okay, I, I think we can probably... We should make another scrapper. And then we can get going. Light replacement kits. Yeah, the thing is about... We can't make anything on the fly if we don't have the materials. So along the way, we still sort of have to collect materials, I guess. <laughs> I got 20 chemicals, though. Isn't that nice to see? Hand... Did I make a hand vac yet? I think I did. It's on me right now. I need a scrapper. Thanks. Now my inventory is a little bit full. That's okay. I'm gonna keep a little bit of health in the vehicle, too. Oh, I already... <laughs> I already thought of that. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah, we're, we're fine for now. Alright. Let's plan a route out. I think that's it for the time being. 0 0.6 stable energy. Just let it sit there for a bit. And... Let's try going to where Tobias is then. Tobias's marker. It's getting closer to the the deeper area already. Today we can... There's some shortcuts we have. We can go to this unstable, unstable region immediately, which is a bit scary. But we know everything here. Overcharge electricity, swift storm. An electrical damage taken in this part of the zone... Oh, all electrical damage taken in this part of the zone is increased. Ooh, that's not good. Swift storm means there's a lot of storms. Maybe we just want to leave. And then after that, when we get to G3, we can choose G2 or D2. If we... Yeah, G2 might be a good idea anyway for supply gathering. Turncoat. Sometimes that which you trust the most might still turn against you. Yeah, that's probably what was happening in that one region last time. There was a ghost in the car. Not the best condition to be collecting resources under, but at the same time, it's not super dangerous. It's just, it's just kind of annoying, that's all. And then we gotta go through darkness, and then eventually arrive at the marker. The battery farm. Okay. Take it one step at a time. Oh, I did want to decorate the car. I wanted to use the wood panel decals, but I, I see the shark, and I'm like, oh, I want to keep it. So maybe what I'll do right now is I will just, just do the wood pattern on the, the front plate here. It's blank. But did I not use it? What? It didn't do anything. I used it already though. Yeah, I used it. What the heck? Yeah, because the wood panel probably, you know that really typical station wagon wood panel look? With the wood panel going on the side. So maybe the the front plate just doesn't have anything. Oh, that's a waste. Oh well. Oh, we can... Hold up. There's still some categories that we haven't used stuff for. Wishing star. We can install this wishing star. Lift off sticker. Is that all we have? For now. And the flags. I guess that's it for now. I felt like I collected some other stuff. We can try the logo. We can be Arda. Yeah. I think we got a steering wheel. High-tech steering wheel. Egan's mix. Who's Egan? Still just got the little UFO here. Alright. Let's get going for now then. I get so attached to a piece once we start decorating it. I'm like, oh. 
Yeah. Okay. Hi. Thanks for the... Is that a quirk? <laughs> that could be a quirk. The f F F is the limb pulse. Oh, there's a little thingy. Cute. The limb pulse emitter. If I see any of those bubblegum buddies or dust bunnies, time to spam F and watch my battery drain away. <laughs> got you, got you. We could just step out of the car to get rid of them, but this is the the rich person's way. Why step out when you don't have to? We'll just go straight there. Right, so this is the, the longer road. It really is just usually driving straight. Which makes sense. Uh, if we had that hydro generator, our battery would be okay up right about now. <laughs> Don't actually flash your headlights this much in real life, people. <laughs> I'm just saving battery. Saving a little bit of battery. Oh! That's, a, that, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. I had my finger on the F. But I was just trying to get out of the car. So that was a Limpulse emitter. <laughs> I kind of used it already. How much battery... Oh, that did use a little bit already, which is not the greatest, but at least we kind of know what it looks like. Do have to be... The deeper we get into the place, the more supplies we're going to have to bring with us, the more conservative we should need to be. The better our car needs to be, too. Keeping up to date with all the upgrades, different kinds of upgrades, going to be important. I wish I could, like, climb over to the driver's seat. I don't really know how to read that battery indicator, I feel like. Whoops. Oh no, I really gotta pay attention. <laughs> oh, it's a little mixtape now. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, we do need some supplies, but... Hey, look at the, the piping on the... The roof. Remember when we first came in, I was like, oh, Is that a mannequin on the roof or something? But no, it's just... It's just pipes, probably. Now, this is worth stopping for. Crude paddle. Ah, it's just like... Can you just... Take these out? And I'll scrap them. Take the rest. I'll take that, of course. Thank you. Maybe I shouldn't be scrapping all of this right now. Like this crude panel could be useful, you know? Why am I scrapping it? Should I only scrap some- Wait, didn't I just put this in the- Maybe I should have kept it. Oh, the stack is full already. I see. Let me just put it here then, whatever. I can't see the- I can't see, dude. That's the problem. Is this door? Oh, look, an armored door. Oh, it's getting a little bit of radiated here. <sighs> Whoa, this is like- wait, this is worth getting a freaking liberator for, isn't it? Armored door. Which I can't make. Because I didn't bring any thermosap crystals. That's fine. Ow. Well, I can't bring a whole bunch of supplies outside, though. That defeats the whole point of trying to use a trip to gather supplies. How's my inventory that full already? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I looking at? Thanks for the crystals. That's nice. 
There we go. I guess supplies. Maybe I'll try to put it in the, the inner locker here. If possible. There's no chance this. <laughs> Is that just gonna say hi to me every time now? Oh, so the, the red number is my battery, right? 38.2? 38.1? I wish I didn't know that. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, lord, I just... Okay, you know what? I need to switch this off F because I'm doing it again and again on F. This needs to be space, maybe. Yes. How much battery did I use? Oh my god, I used nearly half already. That's really not good. Keep this one. Keep this one. Whoa, paint! The dolphin! Retro strips. Oh, this is... This is some good stuff. Is it useful stuff? Uh, maybe not. But it's good stuff. Tobias's marker, did he even say to me what it was? Oh, I, and I, I don't even want to think about the fallout when Oppie finds out that we sent over the hard drive to Francis and Tobias. And that's not going to be pretty. Okay, we're in the unstable zone. Oh, there's a thing there. Extreme conditions. All we have to do is go here and get out. We- uh, I- I want to get that thing. In that case, should I just go all the way up here instead? Let's make it quick then. There's barely any houses in the zone. Because they can't have houses here, it's super irradiated. <laughs> My car is protecting me against the radiation, but I wonder if it means that my car is slowly just getting chipped away too. Probably, right? It's not like we're invincible. No, don't touch that left right. Oh, oh. Is there somebody on me? I activated the limb pulse. I think the radio got messed up for a sec too. Oh! Lead. I think there was probably some kind of a dust bunny thing on me. If we can get enough fabric and lead, we can get the next level upgrade too. For my outfit. Any... Oh, no, 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 no. This can be hand vac. I'm trying to save the hand vac for the situations where I really need it. Otherwise... Let's try not to be lazy, right? That's it, that's it. Yeah, these computers are more like whatever, but I'll, I'll get it anyway since we're in the area. Actually, copper wires. That's necessary. It is not- it's not whatever. Yeah, I knew we shouldn't be staying long. There's nothing in the backpack. Where is it coming from? Oh, there's a tunnel. That's what that symbol means. We do need unstable energy, of course, but we need energy of all kinds. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, let's see. I'm gonna angle my car for the tunnel. Right here. 
gonna see if I can grab that by running like hell. All right. Oh. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I, I must get going. I'm sorry, I, I, please don't trap me. I, I really need to get going. <gasps> Dude! Hey! <laughs> I wanna, I wanna scrap you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bye. The storm is now here. Oh, I didn't even put my part. Whatever. That's a wreck right in front of me. Let me plan this out a little bit because that that now that's getting a little bit dangerous. Let's see how far I can drive. How fast I can drive. If I can get away from the storm, I'll try to pick it up. Did I hit the wall? Dude, you can't just be in the middle of the road like this. Okay, that purple thing just appeared. You <laughs> I can never get it. Maybe that's what that noise was, huh? But yeah, we're in a tunnel right now. We're locked in. We actually just can't turn around for it. Okay, very quickly. Forget about the doors, but I want to see what you have. Animal stripes. I want the animal stripes. I want numbers. Food? The succulent. Dog stickers. Light blue. Okay, I, I'm full. I'm full. Light blue paint stripper. That's fine. This is fine. They need a way for me to... Wait, what? Wait, what? No, 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 no. No warping. Like, the, the paint needs to go in automatically, too. There's no reason why it shouldn't. You can put it on a different key or something, but I, I really need an automatic key as well. Battery not looking great. Mostly because I fired off the Limpulse emitter so many times accidentally. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna forgo that tape, okay? Really? Actually, I don't think we can even go there because the, the tunnel goes one way. Yeah, I would have to climb up a mountain or something. The tapes... It's relatively easy to find in resource places around us. I don't think we have to go over... Yeah, we didn't get a choice, actually. Excuse me. My... Oh, whoa. My car just got quite damaged. That's okay. This is the first leg of the thing today, so I don't want to, you know. We need to know our limits and all that. The limiting resource- Whoa! Not this car again. Okay, go, go away, go away! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, I just realized I did something really stupid. I thought I was activating the Limpulse emitter. But I was activating the first aid one, which took away even more battery. Yeah, it wasn't on space. I put it on control. Oh, no. Should I... You drop good stuff? Lead? Some scrap metal? I'll take that. Did you just drop a rear- Oh, you took my rear bumper! My- Wait, my- The emitter is gone! Did you kill it? Did I overuse it? 
I don't know what happened, but it's gone, and... My engine not looking great. My battery also not looking great. Let's get out of this region first, okay? This instability. One mistake is enough to um, cost everything. Now I'm in the left, right. That's okay. That's okay. We just want to leave here. If we come across repair spots later, that would be great, but we can't guarantee that'll happen every time. I'm just gonna stop really quickly here, maybe... Have a think. Repair putty? We have some chemicals back home, it might be okay. Oh, actually, yeah, I was gonna say, we, ha we have quite a few repair putties right here. Insulated panels. This is good against radiation. Is it good against radiation? Or was it- oh no, it was electricity. It's not the greatest here. Yeah, I had- oh, the bulbs are broken. Light replacement kit? Electrician's kit. Wow, they're all broken in different ways. It's kind of crazy. Where's my extra... I have an extra headlight thing. That'd be good. Just throw this one out, whatever. Give me back the supplies and call it a day. How's my car looking? Could be... Uh, I don't have a bumper. I don't have a back bumper. Right? Because my Limpol's emitter, I think, just got done in by the dust bunnies, or I used it too much, or something. Just make a crude bumper for now, then. Have something here. So it's not bumping against up my actual car and all that. Yeah, I... <laughs> it's not even on here anymore. I was using the Arc Dock accidentally, which is four batteries per second, my goodness. I need to not accidentally press this. Yeah, maybe I'll do it like this. I wish I could change the keys manually or something. Anyway, that's a thing for another time. My- oh, my front bumper is not looking great either. You know what? I mean, if we were okay with it, we could have stayed longer. We could have. Where are we? Where am I right now? I'm here. Next zone is dark. Battery sapping. Eerie darkness. Environmental distortions in this zone mean that all car battery usage will be much higher. That's not really what I wanted to hear about right about now. <laughs> Stable anchors. We could just drive through. We could split the trips into two different things. I could do resource trips for gathering materials around me. But for energy, I could use these trips for gathering energy, if that makes sense. It's a straightforward drive today. It's just dark, that's all. It's just dark, that's all. Battery usage is supposedly heightened. But regularly, I do feel like driving at night is um a completely different kind of thing. The visibility is just so poor. Even if it's the same road, it feels like a different road, you know? Got a bit of a curve here. Intense radiation in the next one, I think we should just run through without stopping. I say that every time, but I always get distracted by this and that. Um... Plasma? I would like a little bit of plasma. I'm just gonna throw out a flare here. Oh. I 
continue using that. Hot! Ow! 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 Sorry. Ow. You're kind of right at the door. Whatever, I needed it. Are you really just gonna annoy me the whole time, every time I run across? Really? It's not the biggest of deals. I do have the canned food, but... If we could go without it, that would be for the best. So now I, I gotta go past again. Just stupid. Can you just... What happens if I... Oh yeah, that was a thing. I didn't have to eat it, I guess. <laughs> Everything just broke, I can't see. Do they drop plasma? Don't really want to investigate. Rechargeable flares. Oh, it uses copper wire though. I'm a little bit hesitant on that. I have a lot of flares right now. I don't mind using them a little bit. Maybe we should. I'm just gonna check out battery jumper. We yeah, this needs copper wire as well. Lots of stuff needs copper wires around here. We're good for now. No, my hood. Now, why are the wipers on again? Did I do that? I don't even remember. Uh, let's just go this way. Forget about that. That's like in the middle of nowhere. Get out of here, please. All this time? That delivery that we were trying to make? What were- First of all, what were we trying to deliver? Second of all, are we any closer to delivering it? Oh, I don't- I don't have time for that. No, I do. Honestly, I do. <laughs> I'm just getting lazy, that's all. Hey, 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 the road, the road. Oh, it's like a ditch here? Lord. What, 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 what? I can't see anything aside from what's immediately in front of me. I can't even see that I'm walking into a tree. There might be a tourist. Don't jinx it. There's no tourists around here. I'm just walking into a wall. Is my car smoking? Oh, it's the engine. We should probably fix that engine. Yeah, the engine did say it was a little bit broken earlier. Oh! And it'll be a full moon out if you're late enough to catch <gasps> it. That's all for now. Have a lovely, lovely day. Did you see that? It was a meteor. 
I just wanted to get the car a little bit closer so we could hear the radio at the same time, but it was a short thing anyway. I hope we can get some upgrades later on that... There's a thing about how we have to always get out of the car. I've been thinking about this a little bit, but that's the difference between Pacific Drive and Subnautica pretty much. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's way too far. Is that related to the meteor? Because I wasn't there until just now. That's way too far. Yeah, because Subnautica, you swim. And then stopping to pick something up is not really deterring anything, right? But for Pacific Drive, it's a little bit different because you have to constantly get out of your car every dang time. So it would be really nice if later on we had some upgrades that allow us to maybe gather supplies quicker from within the car, especially common supplies. Like every time we see a wrecked car, can we just do something about that implicitly? You see what I mean? I'm already out again because I see this. That meteorite thingy, that purple, that has to have been it. It was nice that we got to see it though. Okay, before we before we move on, we're actually right here already. <sighs> How's my car looking? Can we at least fix the storage? I think that's going to be pe pretty crucial. Repair putty. I don't want to lose my stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not like that. I'm sorry, I keep... Even six quick slots is not enough for me, apparently. Good enough? Is the radio okay? It doesn't seem okay. And there it is, all the repair putty gone. So I guess that's that. Battery. Could do with another jump. I know I have another one, but I might need more anyway, so I'm just gonna make one right here. Alright. Let's go. Can you stop being so scary, please? It's a relatively slow storm, all things considered. Now we can go to G2. Hold up. We can go to G2? Or directly to D2? I think we should go directly to D2 and just get the hell out of there. Intense radiation, swift storm, eerie darkness. Oh, it's uh... <sighs> we really just gotta go. Like, I think we just gotta go, go. Yeah. There's bubblegum buddies here. Oh, this is mid-zone already. Mmm, this might be a zone. It's gonna lure me into stopping every now and then so I can collect resources. Let's say we'll collect the resources near the exit. How about that? That's my compromise here because I can't handle this place being dark and then having swift storm and then having intense radiation all at once. I think we, we need to put resource collection a little bit lower on the priority list. The Myers. It is such a shame that it's it's in darkness right now. Would love to check this out properly. Seriously, extreme conditions. Lots of radiation. Don't try to push it. I'm gonna play a normal ghost on the road. Oh, I saw you before. Okay, I need I, I need to at least scan you. Belching barnacle. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a requirement for some upgrade. Scanning you. Whoa, there's a lot of weird... 
Oh, it's the stuff that comes out of the Belching Barnacle. If we could scan stuff from within the car, I'd be so happy. Oh! N Whoa, I think it just... Did it blow up on my car? Is it just me, or is the sound really... ...muffled here, compared to before? Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, there's a bubblegum buddy there. I feel like I'm trapped in my own mind. That's what the sound makes me think of. I'm going this- oh god, why am I going their way? Ah! Ah! Why are my wipers on again? Oh yeah, this this isn't as nice as before. It wasn't nice last time, but it was nicer than this. Not everything is trying to kill me. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> that scared me! That's it? Random guitar solo? Shaggy Scrambler. Oh my- Whoa! Oh my god! Is my car okay? Oh. What kind of energy is in this zone? Unstable? Because if it's unstable, then I, I feel like I do have to take the risk to... Stuck in this little. Oh, this is a little bit far. Yeah, if it's unstable energy, it's harder for us to come. Hi, 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 everybody. You know what the good thing is? Radiation is. It's green. I can see it. <laughs> Gives us light. <laughs> I don't know what that shag shaggy scrambler thingamabob was, but... Okay, I'm already breaking my own rule. What happened to collecting near the exit? What am I doing? Not collecting near the exit? Still trying to collect stuff along the way? Okay, the, the, it's... Oh my god, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. I am so tempted. Forget it, okay? Look, the storm is taking a while to come. It's taking a while to come. Alright, alright. I only make exceptions for these Numa... Numa tuba... thingamabobs. Because there's audio logs and whatnot. No, no, no. Close it, close it. So I have no idea what that shaggy thing did to my car. It didn't doesn't look that damaged. Maybe it just doesn't do a lot of actual damage? I don't know, man. I am going to... I will get that energy. <laughs> we will be okay, alright? Because I will stop for literally nothing else besides the energy. I swear. I swear. Nothing. I will stop for nothing. Even the phone lines are messed up. Oh god, no. Go away. Go away! 
Oh no, there's another shaggy, shaggy thingy, my bob. You turning? You turning? Oh, that sounds really inviting. I really must get going. I'm sorry, everybody. What the hell is that stuff there? I don't know. I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> I do see some stuff, though, and it's it's pretty. I, I can't deny that part. I don't see any beating hearts like last time. Oh, oh, no, no, no. The shing... Shagli... Shagli... Thingamabobu... Oh! Oh, I think it's messing with my... internals. I'm not the one turning off the light, I'm just saying. Where's the can opener? How come I only see the line, but I haven't heard the can opener at all? Oh no, oh no. The highway robbers. Bubblegum buddies. Such a pretty name. You don't deserve that pretty name. Hey, we can hang around near the exit, but not... Not outside the exit, okay? Like I said. It is taking a little while. We can check out those houses nearby. Are those lead shieldings, by the way? I, it kind of looks like it. This is more nerve-wracking than Subnautica, seriously. At least Subnautica, I know when I go back home I'm safe and all, but... Here, we're away from home for quite a while. For a much longer time. Alright, I'm gonna do some resource collecting. Since it's... gonna be a while. I will turn off... the battery. And just stick a flare... on the ground around here. Yeah. Hold one as well. Where are you, they say? Have a meal. Eat some irradiated food. I need a new pry bar. But overall, I think things have gone okay well today. Just that I'm trying to be careful. It can change. Everything can change in the span of one second. Okay? Don't. Don't be off guard. Is this... what is this? Hey, this is like on the second floor. It's a bigger building. The whole time this place is just irradiated, which isn't great. But you gotta take some risks if you wanna get some rewards. Oh, it's this kind of place. I don't care. Give me chemicals. Give me chemicals. That transmuter, I still haven't really gotten a chance to try it out. Can I even scrap that? Oh, give me those gas cylinders or what have you. Electrician's kit into electronics. I don't know how this works specifically, but I don't need any of those things anyway. That's fine. Been a while since we've seen these bigger towers. Where's my car? Oh, I don't think having a flare near my car would have helped. <laughs> it should be gone by now.
Hmm. And those things don't do anything, huh? They just give us a boost. Which is a good thing. Weirdly enough. You stay here. Oh, the windows are cracked. What? Need a pry bar? How's the bumper doing? It's alright. Next place has perpetual stability. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I don't have to be so worried. Let's get going. Tobias! Oh, it's water! Kind of watery here. That's okay, I can make it through. That's why we gotta try to stick to the roads. I haven't seen many of any marsh eggs today. I wish we saw more. I wish we saw. Period. <laughs> We're not seeing anything. Okay, this is still within the mid zone. It's relatively nice though. Unstable anchor. It's, it should be better than the previous place in every way, but last time the zone was fairly... Oh, this one had no atmospheric shifts. And this one does. I'm just wondering if we can see why sometimes the storm moves so fast, sometimes it doesn't. This is an Arda site. Oh, we can see! Battery farm. Are hey, you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Hey, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're gonna use this. My optical vasilizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it's, it's been decades. It, it, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing her up in secret. And I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. Can anyone oh, explain I'm to me? Ahead a minute. Is it any <laughs> modification to your headset, driver? I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> uh, what, what are you using the basilizer for? Ah, uh, uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning, driver. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm sure this is gonna go very well. I'm glad to see we can at least see stuff here. Pickpocket. Oh. The painter. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Oh. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first... Arda wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until... Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She what? painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants and the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. That sounds completely logical. What the hell's happening? Is my car getting dragged away? What was that beeping? Hold on, I got a gigantic pearl here. You gotta give me time to get it. I know it's dangerous. What's life without a little bit of danger? Wait, I still have one more. Okay, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Oh, thanks. Apparently, why? 
If you press Y, it's auto sort, except they don't explain that anywhere. Anywhere at all. <laughs> Which is well, it's it's what this <laughs> it's what Pacific Drive likes doing. There's a lot of things that are just sort of mysterious. I did see we had some nice abductors here already, which is not a good sign. Okay, I'm, my place... everything is starting to become a little bit full. If we could get some of those marsh egg thingamabobs, it would be pretty cool, although I don't know if we can. Oh, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, look at me babbling away. Francis, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh, I'd rather not. Hey, come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. Yeah, I, I, not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again. That sounds reassuring. I guess if you give scientists a, a way to experiment, they're always going to be like, ooh, let's do it, let's do it, or something like that. You saw that just now, right? I did not have any space in my inventory, so I think we really need to put a wrap on collecting common materials. If it's really special, I'll take a look. But if not, we need to cut back on it. Am I okay? Going in the car, is that okay? I'm going in the water. What the hell is that stuff? I have a lot of logs to read, by the way, except the whole place is irradiated right now, so I kinda... Why are the wipers on again? Okay, some... That's a quirk. That's a qu Why are the headlights on? I didn't turn the headlights on, it's freaking daytime right now. Why do I need the headlights? Mural. Oh, the visions. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. What? No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. I hey, uh, is it just me or does this mural look different before? <gasps> Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades after all. No, uh, something's... something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? This is all very reassuring. One of a series of murals painted by Laura Cesari in 1962. A mural depicting abandoned boats in the lake. It was told that a man was trapped in... Inside the zone, and every time he tried to escape, he reappeared on yet another boat. No, no, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and re-emerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? It doesn't add up. 
Otto's favorite pastime was cutting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash in the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. A, a man who can't escape. I mean, look at us right now. What are we in the zone right now? I didn't think we were all here willingly. Although, I think Francis and... Wasn't Tobias saying something about how they, were, they stayed behind to study the legends of the zone or something? Hey, so we got this coral thingy. It's just like coming in and out every now and then. They recommended me to use a thermal vacuum on the reef, but I don't have that yet. It just disappears every now and then. What in the world? How quickly does it come back? Quite a while. Is it limitless though? Because if it is, I'm gonna be here all day long. Are they all gone-ish now? No, this is- that was brand new. How many did I get? 34. We definitely needed something- Wait, why don't I just use a hand vac? Does it work for this? Was I picking it like an idiot the whole time? Turns out, yes, I am an idiot. Th that works much better. Okay, so maybe I could have collected the marsh eggs with my hands too, but it would have just been really tedious. If you have any left, I won't leave. Are you the ones making that sound as well? Oh! Neon Reef. At first I thought I was seeing things after... well, you know. After that incident when so many of us saw things and then they promptly told us to never talk about it. I figured this was just another hallucination, something else I shouldn't log or report. Like how we don't talk about the things that chase us, or the files at Red Meadow, or the weird weather, or... I know I'm getting off topic. Point is, whatever this stuff is, it both responds to and seems to create light. I think we're looking at something similar to glowing algae. Similar to those, uh, dinoflagellates. I've got some notes here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this material is infused with... Neon? No, that can't be right. I feel like there's still more. Got 79. Didn't we need like 200 or something of these? It's at the bottom or something? I want to read it as well, if you'll let me. By the way, we do have storms in this region. I'm just saying we, we can't just ignore everything and start. I want to. In my heart of hearts, I want to. I want to use that one as... to open the log. But I'm, I'm just aware because we're trying to scan murals today, which... isn't any less dodgy... than trying to collect these corals, to be fair. Swamp coral. Oh, 80, 80 a stack. What do you think a swamp coral would be? It's not an anomaly. I think. Bioluminescence is perfectly normal, they say. It's found throughout nature, they say. So why does this light reactive substance still feel so unnerving? Because it pops in and out. I think that's why. Okay, I think I'm... We should probably get going. It'll be easier for us to get more in a different spot, probably. Oh, hold up. This building... Oh, did you just see? There were, like, battery pods? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Hold up. Wait, can we... Can we get up on this? Maybe not? Can I see what that is again? You let me... Yeah. Plastic power pod. Oh, and another thing. We're installing new transformers and battery farms across all facilities as of this week. Folks, this is an extensive upgrade that's gonna take a few months. Now, uh, you're gonna notice a few changes in some of the technology we implement. We're switching out some transformers, we're using shielded systems wherever we can now because interference is so bad, and, uh, we're trying out a new type of battery. Some of you will be clear to work with this technology and some of you won't, but I can't skirt around this one. Whether you're allowed to work with it or not, you're sure as hell gonna notice it anyway. 
I trust you well enough at this point to know that you won't ask questions that you know you shouldn't, or ask your friends or your colleagues anything that puts them in a difficult position. Just know that technology moves fast these days, and when you need to know, we'll let you know. This limb stuff has been good to us, and it's part of our job to respect the rules and keep confidence, okay? So, got that everyone? I'll speak more on this with those of you cleared for limb briefing at midday. Everyone else, keep your heads down, got that? This is before things went bad. It was back in the 60s. They were probably harvesting the energy around here then, but what the hell is that? That doesn't look very... technology-ish. Some kind of, um... new life form or something. We still got more murals. Now I'm arbitrarily assuming that because you want me to scan those murals, that you're not going to bring any storms to me before I scan those murals. Can I assume this? Is it okay for me to assume? Does anything need a mechanics kit? How is my... How is my thing doing? Not great, probably. Yeah, we might need some repair putty. Oh, one of the wheels... Hold up. One of the tires has... gone bad. Yes. I will switch. I'm just gonna use a ceiling kit then because I do have another tire, but I'm just gonna save this one right now. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 dude! Oh my god, I didn't park properly. Yeah, because I don't want to have to switch to switch tires in a pinch and then realize that, oh no, actually, I forgot to use a ceiling kit earlier or whatever, right? But I don't think we have more repair putty. We have 20 at home. We can use a little bit. But if we can get the blowtorch, that'd be good too. This is just some random panel too. It's not even pretty. I like the shark teeth. Oh yeah, the bumper, man. How's the headlight doing? Not great. Okay, I mean, we're hanging in there. Now how are we doing? Next place we want to go to? We can try to go back here. Collect some of that stuff along the way and then scan the mural. How's that sound? Hi. <laughs> I don't put on the seatbelt any time, by the way. That's probably not a good thing. So if I want to go back, I just gotta cross some water. I don't think I can avoid it. Is that okay? It has to be. Nice that we went to a relatively quiet corner. Nobody bugging us. I want to be a scientist, but I don't want to die. If you ask me to prioritize, I will try to live every time. But that also means we don't get to see some stuff. These trees are... are they normal trees? It's not looking very Pacific Northwest anymore now, is it? Blood panels? Okay, we have a little bit of time for that. I'm just checking my wipers. They keep randomly going off sometimes. It's gotta be some kind of a quirk. I don't think the quirks happen every single time when you do the thing though. Maybe it should. Because that was an option in the menu as well. Do you want the quirks to happen every single time you do the execution requirement? I think by default it's, it's not all the time. Which makes it harder to diagnose. Is that a- is that a nice car? It's a squire. I don't have room though. I really don't have room. If it's simple stuff, forget it. Oh, 
Oh, there's a beating heart. Hold up. We should come here. Whoa. Is that just a shadow or why is that changing like that? Got a beating heart here, people. By people, I mean Wellen's Wagon or uh, Wheelin's. <laughs> I haven't taken a full look at all the suggestions yet. Let's go over here. Do we have a different. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of sick of this song. The radio keeps playing the same thing. What gives, man? Oh, thank you. Heals me as well. I think. If I step out. I have to personally step out to get healed. So that's when it's done. I think. It looks like it's got some speakers on it. It's really weird. Thanks, man. You're a real G. Ooh, we are not where we need to be. We need to stop collecting stuff. I don't have room. I really don't have room. <gasps> but there's chemicals in here. Give me the chemicals and I'll let you go. Give me that. Pry bars are necessary for this too. A lot of them are just locked up. Everything else, whatever. Yeah, I, I'm really, really full. I'm really full. Was this the zone? This was supposed to be the intense radiation, right? Actually, it did turn out to be. No, no, this was the perpetually stable zone. Never mind. I need to get back on the road. Although... The road wasn't looking the greatest earlier, too. There were a whole bunch of people trying to spit at us. Where is the road? Here. Ish? Oh, following the bridge, I guess. Um... Can we not walk across the airstrip? Is this even the road? I think it's just talking about underneath the bridge. I'm gonna forgo that, maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The cars here are high va- Oh, okay, there's the- Ah! Scrambly Mabob! Shambler! I'd rather even park next to the weird blobs than go near. Was that a bat? Right in front of my face? Okay, I just want to see. I just want to check again. It's not possible. I th Is it coming? It looks like it's kind of coming over. It's not possible for us to... Oh, we can get it one by one. Okay, I thought you couldn't. But this is way easier. We need this for some kind of an upgrade. Oh, there's the other anchor as well. Okay, I'm gonna get it right here then. I'll go to this one first. Feels like this area does have a lot of research-related stuff. They were powering... They needed a lot of energy here. It's called a battery farm for a reason. Can I? Can I? No, the airstrip doesn't work on me, I think. Uh... 
No, I, I do think the airstrip does work on me. <laughs> That's fall damage too. Hey, where'd the Shambly thing go? Shambly my bob. Oh no! Wrong side. Oh, you're making me even more scared that I don't know where you are. Where's the Shambly Mabob? Did it already explode on my car when I wasn't looking? Maybe. If we can get three, three whole units of energy, unstable energy, I'd be so happy. Okay. All right, all right. We're doing we're doing good here, I think. The mural is somewhat around here as well if we keep going straight, but I'm going to go around and I'm just going to see if there's anything nice to collect here. <laughs> uh no. Is that not a thing? N no. N no. Um, I'm scared of leaving my car alone for too long, though. Okay, I'll just grab these chemicals here and go then. Because those are the important things. We only got two chemicals here, too. Oh, it's tough. Okay, even my, my backpack is packed. I can't do this. I need to stop. Now. This is packed. This is packed. This is okay-ish packed. Actually, I still have a little bit of room here. This is packed. This is packed. The, the abductor is back. We have to go. We don't even have room. If we keep going, we're gonna end up losing everything. Which is gonna be even worse. I need to change my goal here. I'm actually trying to go here now. If we can walk on land, that'd be good. Pretty sure getting this much water on the bottom of your car is not a good idea. Low vehicle fuel. Okay, 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 okay! Okay! Alright. See, this is a problem. I, there's always resource constraints. I can't just... keep going like this. I can't. I gotta go. I'll put this in when we come back from the mural. The mural is here? Sasquatch? Bigfoot. Ah, the Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favorite! You wanna talk about it? Oh, did, did you just see that, Francis? Oh boy, oh boy, Francis, look, look, look! Uh, look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. It's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there, is, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical the? maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... See, Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I, I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Okay, where did those chemicals just come from? Is there a nearby friendly dumpster helping me out as well? That was weird. And that's happened periodically too, I think. Uh, driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. 
<laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid-zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the what? vision foretold its arrival in the zone! It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of 10-foot-tall creatures started. That didn't attract them much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. Oh, come on, all eight at once. How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. Are we just talking about this like Bigfoot is so a real thing? That last vision. Yes. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. How can I not? I don't want to talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens and everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and, and... No, 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 we're done here. Driver, if you see when you stay away from it, that's all you need to know. Let's go. What do you mean by turning inside out? Like, my inside out? I'm gonna be inside out? That's a little bit alarming. I think we're doing pretty hot today, though, actually. We're full and stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to check if this tanker has any gas because we are a little bit low. I don't think it does. A little bit. You know what? I'm going to take it because it's good to be careful. Uh, something about the, the, the turtle beating the rabbit. And uh, haste makes waste. Or something, even though we're definitely in a situation where if we dawdle long enough, we're gonna die. Are you filling up? Did you fill up my thing? Okay, I got half a can, not bad. This large can can have quite a bit. We're doing all right today, I think. How come the beating heart is still operational? Hey, but oh wait, wheel. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's over. Oh no, it's not the wheel. It was a uh, the headlight. Thank you, beating heart. Thank you. Now it looks like all we have to do is keep following this this path here, and we'll get to the third one. Now, why why do I think once I get to the third one, you're gonna make me do a mad dash for the gateway again? We're gonna have to be on edge. Okay, we have two. Just checking how many medkits I have. The key to surviving... Actually, I wonder what would happen. I was gonna say the key to surviving is making sure that we have health, right? But 
Do I have to care about my car? If I survive, can I just walk to the light? Is that a thing? Not that the places around here are quite walkable, but theoretically. Could my just my car go back or could I go back by myself? No, we're tied together. We're bonded at the hip. Okay, we really cannot pick up any more. Okay? Do you understand what that means? It means stop getting out of the car for stupid crap. Please. Okay, we're sort of we're not on the right place here. Can we get to that from here? Kinda can't, right? I'll have to see. It's on a bit of a hill maybe. Oh, never mind. We're back on track. Just try to drive slower. Faster we drive. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see that. I, I really do have to collect it. You see it, right? It's the Neon Reeves again. This is a new resource. We must get it. I'm expecting... Oh, wait! Oh my god, what? That's the door! The door they just talked about! It's a mural of the door. Okay, the wipers are on again. I did not... Something, something is doing something. I know, very, very descriptive. Something is doing something. Alright, buddy. Hand it over. Fantastic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me the good stuff. Yes, yes. This is why we have hand vax. This is why it was made. My vac is almost gone. I really can't fit much more. Okay, are we happy? I think we're happy, all right? This is is pretty good. There might be like one or two more here. The one. Maybe I'll break the hand back. Yeah, get a little bit of space back like that. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Let me get that last little bit. Okay, hand back is gone. Still got all of it that I could see. I think that's good enough for me. Dang, we might be able to put some of this in. Oh, my car looks so dirty. Oh no, it's the camo paint. <laughs> I thought it just looked bad. No, no, no. We, we still can use a lot of the space if we put stuff. Because the stacks aren't full. Not all the stacks are full. This is it though. I think this is it. You ready? Inverting doorway mural. Inverting doorway. No, I don't. I don't like this one. Warns anyone who beholds it. Oh, bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Put the three locations together, and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Hmm. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppie, you can stop pretending to ignore us now. Oh. Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. Know what? Oppie? Not my story to share. Now what? Get to a gateway. My theory. And that 
Basilites are, they're, um, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Arda found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait, you told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints, read them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You, you don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. But listen, I've got this suspicion, right? If we can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, what do we find they can prove your theory? It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Oppie have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. But I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well, Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this with her. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. She sat there and decided how best to humiliate me. I never asked for anything. This one time I do, so I would I would never have to talk to Oppie again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't mean... I've had enough. <laughs> Oh, he just left. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll come around. Sorry, driver. We'll, um, we'll see you back at the auto shop. Um, I, I wish you guys would care about me a little bit more. Okay, I don't mind being dragged here because there's a beating heart here. Don't know if I can reach it. Is someone is messing with my car? I thought it was because we were near that scrambly thingy, but it might not be. There's a quirk. Quirk might be tied to like when the car moves forward or something silly like that. I need to heal too. Yeah, actually, I, I feel pretty okay about our chances today about leaving. The, the thing about research is back to that whole conversation. The thing about research is it's not the kind of thing where if you put in effort, you're guaranteed to get something out of it. And I think sometimes that's kind of hard to handle because, well, we put in effort and we expect to be rewarded. That's what all the media stories say, but that just... Someone could spend 30 years and not get anything. Someone could spend three years and not get anything. Someone could spend three days and get something out of it. Oh, I... There's... <laughs> it's right here. I gotta get it. I gotta get it! I can't make a hand... Oh! I just straight up can't craft the hand back. Okay, in that case, it would be kind of hard to get this because I would have to pick it by hand. Wait, they just permanently stay out. What the heck? Why? Because they know I don't have a hand back? That seems very likely. Oh, you greatly underestimate my determination and persistence then, in that case. Wait, some of them do go back. Is it related to the light? It's, some of them are just too high for me to reach. I'm not gonna... Yeah, we need to go back. We need to go. It's more efficient if we plan out a different trip and come back out. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Grabbed a good bunch, though. <laughs> I grabbed a hundred! Where'd this stuff come from? The tourists? Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, we stayed too long. 
we stayed too long. But it was fun today, though. It was a new place, and it was creepy, and someone saying hi to me, and like, maybe that's the, the remnant is saying hi to me. Maybe that's what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Are you okay? Okay, thank goodness you're not actually that hurt. Hey look, my car is good too because of the beating hearts, thank you. Anyway, my, my job, I have a job, okay? My job is to get all these supplies back and we'll be celebrating, we will be... We will be partying for days because we have a truck full of upgrade materials. And we have a million, or it might as well be a million, energy thingies. Okay, I, I need to activate the gateway now. This one? You gotta go. Follow the road. Follow the road. Oh my god, it's coming in so fast. I should have waited until I was at the very edge. Holy, that's so fast! What the heck? Okay, that's... That actually is ridiculously fast. That's them being nice to me, though, because they let me activate it whenever. The yellow came fast, but the, the red is still... We're alright. Yeah. Boom! We're doing good. We're doing good. That was a really long trip, though. Almost two hours, my god. 10.7 unstable energy. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961. In the lab accident. Oh. So we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. I just came back. Could you not even let me rest a little bit first? Red Meadow facility, where is it? Let me just check it out quickly. It's in the deep zone. Oh, what the heck? It's over here! Okay, but it's not so bad because I can just go straight to F1. Go here. And then drive there. It'll be another part of the, the mid area. Okay, I see, I see. Hey, that was a really successful trip though. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. Oh! Yeah, three quirks, something like that. Uh, some definitely had to do with the wipers. I think some of them maybe went away in the middle or something, though. It wasn't consistently the same quirks. I don't know. What do you want? We can use limb for improved electroplating. Bond metals like we never have before. It's a revolution. Oh god, my hand. Yeah, we need- we probably need to upgrade a locker as well. Okay, hold, hold up, before- before I do anything else, let's check out what you got for me. Chemicals! It's a Christmas miracle. Chemicals! 
Repair putty. Repair putty is actually quite expensive. Oh, thank you. Only two? Because it realizes I have a lot of stuff. I... Wow, I really... I can't even get this stuff out of my inventory. This is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I put it in here for now. What did I want to do first? I want to... Before we go clean up, can we read about the remnants? No, no, no. The anomalies. We picked... We saw a few. Didn't really see some of them in action. Rotten egg. Jim, I'm at my wit's end here. The guys you're giving me are stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in the army and I swear to God we're at our lowest point. No, you listen to me. They cannot be out here touching everything they come across. New rule. Assume everything is acid. Everything. Oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Mon Casino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in a goddamn camp on McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years and I'm not gonna die back in this stupid state because some pimpled private doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now you sort this out and you sort it out today. Or I take this all the way to the top. And if you think men who look like me don't complain, I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us is a bronze star and one of us is a plywood desk. Sort out your battalion and don't you ever, ever dare question my loyalty to the service or to this country ever again. All this to say, the rotten eggs are acidic. <laughs> His heart is in the right place, though. Hey, how come we, we don't know where it's found? It comes from the belching barnacle or something like that. Yeah, it, safety is important. We gotta make sure our men are safe. Belching barnacle, yeah, pff, great picture. All right, people. First of all, we have to stop calling these things geysers. A geyser launches a jet of water, not gas. These things are blasting warm air and whatever goo this is. Got that? Have you got that? Second, whatever you do, do not try to enter one. These things go deep. Turns out the zone isn't just wrecking things above ground, and these are some kind of thin fissure resulting from the Earth's crust being scrambled up. They're blasting jets of warm air from as far down as the mantle. Third, these might not be entirely bad news. We think they're acting almost like a valve that prevents greater pressure from building. This may be why the geological activity we expect in the Pacific Northwest has decreased. We hope to know more soon. In the meantime, not geysers, okay? Stop calling them geysers, please. Huh? What'd you say over there? Yeah, sure, they look like that. Call them barnacles, whatever. <laughs> you spend so much time being all about the nomenclature and then, yeah, okay, whatever, barnacles. Sure. Does that mean that the, the underground is all acidic then? That's kind of a scary thought. Shaggy, thingamabob, scrambler. We nearly got him, Sally. We were within an inch of catching that notorious... That Scott guy. We almost did it. I swear to you, we're gonna triumph where the regulars just can't. After 11 months hiding out in the zone, stealing cars, breaking into shelters, taking food... You know how we were gonna do it? Anomalies! We used roadblocks to funnel him deeper into where we knew these beastly malfunction things were. And you know what they did? A whole pack of them descended on his car, right in front of us. His engine dies, his battery burns out, his steering locks... He ends up stuck in there in the middle of the road with nothing but his regrets. And then somehow he still gets away, somehow, just melting into the darkness. I guess it didn't help that all our cars had started malfunctioning too. But that's not what matters. Mark my words, we'll catch him next time. So what does this guy do? Malfunctions your stuff? Battery burns out, engine dies, steering locks. Yeah, don't... These are like bubblegum buddies on crack. Pickpocket. Saw you from a distance, didn't actually engage with you, because I don't I don't want any of that. <laughs> At this stage, I don't need to know who is responsible, but I do need you to understand that any provocation of these creatures will be an actionable offense. Deliberately luring them with any kind of bait only makes them both more accustomed and more persistent. At this point, we have lost literally millions of dollars in valuable parts and equipment. The colonel being carried away in his porta potty is simply another symptom of lax discipline and disregard for the potential dangers of the zone. The colonel got carried away in his porta potty? I will not hesitate to report any future negligence directly to the major. That sounds like it's not too unsafe then, because people are kind of messing with it. So maybe it's not so bad. Can we very quickly just get a new locker first? Because I really need it. <laughs> Expand a locker. 
right off the bat. Wait. I can't even get improved antenna then. Yeah, because I don't have enough... Oddly enough, wow, I got so much stable energy, but not enough... Not enough unstable, or uh, the other way around. Uh, I feel like I... Can I just put things in my trunk, do you think? Just use it as a makeshift locker for now? Yeah, you know what? Uh, give me a sec to reorganize, quickly. 